Today in the news, we got new possible CPUs from AMD, some fine wine for Intel, and some AMD SAS. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. A couple of videos ago, I talked about their new platform, AM5, and how, unfortunately, it's not the best value for the money if you're looking to purchase a brand new system for PC gaming. Instead, I said that Intel's platform, or going back a generation for AMD, was a better choice simply because, well, the cost of entry was way lower without sacrificing any kind of performance. But the main problem with the AM5 platform isn't the CPUs themselves or the fact that it uses DDR5. The problem is that the motherboards are way too expensive. If you go for the cheapest one online, it's this Gigabyte DS3H model at 160 bucks, but it's MATX. If you want an ATX board for more PCIe slot, extra NVMe storage, or whatever else, the price jumps to 200 bucks instantly. With both the current generation of Intel CPUs and the last gen of AMD CPUs, you can find motherboards for under 100 bucks. In the case of the last gen AMD ones, way lower than 100. Anyways, so why am I bringing this up? Well, a new leak is going around that, if true, would drop the price of entry by quite a lot for AM5. This information comes from Twitter leaker Chilled Dog, and it says that AMD will release three new non-X SKUs, the Ryzen 5 7600, Ryzen 7 7700, and Ryzen 9 7900. As is, the main difference between those non-X models and their X counterpart is the clock speeds and also the TDPs. The 76 and 7700 will probably go from 105 watts down to 65, and the Ryzen 9 model from a TDP of 170 watts for the 7900X, probably down to either 105 or 95. Although I'm just speculating here. Scratch that, the leaker says that it's all 65 watts. As for the clock speeds, Chilled Dog says that the 7900 would have a boost clock of up to 5.4 gigahertz. That's 200 megahertz slower than the 7900X. It might seem like a small difference, but keep in mind that the rest of the cores might boost lower too. The 7700 would have a boost clock of up to 5.3 gigahertz. That's 100 megahertz lower than the X variant. And the 7600 would have a boost clock of 5.1 gigahertz. 200 megahertz lower than the 7600X. Since AMD doesn't lock overclocking on their non-X chips, I wonder how good these will be at overclocking. Oh yeah, and uh, of course, the price. They're way lower than the X versions. The 7600 is rumored to launch at 229, so $70 cheaper than the 7600X. The 7700 at 329, and then the 7900 would be 429. That's $120 less expensive than the 7900. X. All of those models are rumored to launch in Q1 of next year, which means that if they actually exist, it's almost certain that AMD will talk about it during uh, CES in early January. Damn, I forgot how close we are to next year. I mean, CES is in what, a month and some change? Damn. Anyways, with prices like these, there's a chance that AMD becomes a more appealing platform compared to Intel. Also, hopefully at CES, they also reveal the A620 line of motherboards so we can, you know, pair a uh, motherboard and a CPU without having to pay three quarters the amount of the CPU for the motherboard. You know what I mean? I'm on a budget here. Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, a grain of salt would be appreciated. Moving on, we got Intel in the news and this this is great news. So the ARC A700 series of GPUs released a couple of months ago to, well, let's just call it mixed reviews. It performed fine in games that were optimized and struggled in others. It was swinging pretty wildly from game to game and all of that because of the, that's right, the drivers. Well, it looks like Intel is gonna take AMD's mantle when it comes to GPUs that age well. Wait a second, if, AMD is Team Red, and we called it fine wine technology because, you know, red wine ages well. So for Intel, which is Team Blue, it would be fine jeans technology, denim tech, 
blue cheese technology? Put your answers down below. Going back to the news though, their newest drivers bring support to more recent games like Spider-Man Miles Morales, Sonic Frontiers, Warzone 2.0, and Distera. Distera? Not sure. On top of that, they optimized eight other games for better performance. The list is pretty small, but the performance boost is anywhere from three to 8% more FPS at 1440p. Not bad, Intel, not bad. Seriously, I'm highly considering calling this whole thing blue cheese tech. And lastly, we got one of AMD's executives burning NVIDIA over on Twitter. It's a spicy one. In a sassful tweet promoting the 7900 series, he just tweeted, stay safe this holiday season with a picture of the two eight pin connectors. Oh, that's a, that's a spicy burn. On a side note though, let's go check out the NVIDIA burning 16 pin mega thread on Reddit. So we got 32 cases with 26 confirmed melts. Yikes. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here. Let's see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.